pretty big day on the road today. We've just pulled up at Williams Creek. I'm talking on the GoPro. Um, what is it? 5.30? 5.50, sun's just gone down. Oops, sorry about the angle. Um, yeah, so far the Unitata track's been fairly cruisy. We did we did lose our jockey wheel, which isn't ideal, so we can't we can't really disconnect the trailer until we get a new one. Um, which isn't that big of a deal. Uh, just means that we can't get beer out of the car fridge, so we put some into the normal fridge. Well, I already. Yeah, so but apart from that, everything else handled it fine. Lower the tire pressures and and yeah, we we did 80 kilometers most of the way. I think it gets a little bit worse further on from here, so um the pub's all booked out for dinner, so if you did come here and you wanted a bite to eat, you'd have to pre-book it. I'm not sure whether we'll pop in for a drink or not. In the non the non powered area is it's probably a good what would it have to be? Four hundred meter walk, five hundred five hundred meter walk to the pub? You don't reckon? Like four fifty. You're a dickhead. <laughs> so it's not I don't know. It's if, if we didn't have the dog it wouldn't be too big of an issue, but we generally don't like to leave him too far away just in case, but we'll see. If not, plans are tomorrow to head through to a camp in the painted desert and catch up with our friends Scott and Steph. Um out there, Yeah, from the from the loose stones. So we'll um, they've been doing a three week trip from home and they're on their way back down, so we'll we'll pop in and see them. So I was hoping to watch the Pies play tonight, but it turns out they played today and we lost again anyway. So probably best I didn't watch it. Anyways. Good boy. Hello, so we're on our way out to Akaringa Station, um, just out past the Painted Desert. Um, we stopped obviously at the Painted Desert lookout, just, just here we're taking some photos and getting the drone up, making the dog sit for, for photos, he's being a good boy. Um, it's really, really pretty. Stunning. Tons of different colours, all the hills are white, red, purple. Green from the bushes. Um, yeah, so we're, we're meeting up with Scott and Steph. Obviously, I think we mentioned that earlier. We're, we're about 10, 15 minutes out, so we'll, we'll keep on heading there and see what, I think it's Akaringa Station. We'll see what that's like, so um, we'll keep you posted. Uh, got out to Akaringa Station today. Scott and Steph are here. Um, We'll, we'll do a little bit more shooting tomorrow when the sun's up. We got here a little bit early today. We checked out the Painted Desert on the way through. Just been chilling out since being here. We've had the Cordless Grinder out, helping one of the campers over there chop some steel up. And then another guy had a bung fridge. So I mean, Scotty um, helped him. He had an inline fuse in his plug inside his Mitchell plug uh, a little glass fuse which had blown with it it didn't have one to replace it so basically we just chopped the plug off put a new plug on and got him going again so a little bit of bush repairs now we're just cooking up some dinner got the Ziggy going I'm not sure if you can see that there 
That's better. Got some chicken, asparagus, pumpkin, capsicum, tomatoes, all roasting away. So, with a pretty good view to go. Go check out another section of the, the painted desert tomorrow. Um, yeah, go from there. Yesterday we got the drone up just out of the, the coloured desert and today we couldn't find the drone case so we've come driving back and we found this in the middle of the road. It's a little bit dusty. It was smack bang in the middle of this dirt road. Must but have been still, it like, even the wings are all intact. So that's a big win for us. You wouldn't get that back home in Langy? No, <laughs> no. So the coloured sands look out just over there. We stopped here first. I must have left on the car so I ain't driven off and it's fallen off. So, lucky. I would do. Got her back. Why are you breathing so heavy, bud? <laughs> What walk did you say this was? Has oh. it got a name? <laughs> I can't talk. Ah. I can't pronounce it like anyone. Hurricane Megalodigi. What's, need a map, what's the station called again? Akaringa. <sighs> we were staying at Akaringa Station last night with Scott and Steph. Say good day, guys. Yeah. Hey. From the Loose Stones. Um, oh, and then there's this short walk. It is easy. Don't let the breathing heavy fool you. It's just <laughs> our level of fitness at the moment. Um, we're just breathing like this because, like, we're trying to make it better for them. Yeah. So that like, they're really fit. <laughs> um, painted deserts right, right over there. And there's this little walk. Um, just here. It's actually quite, quite pretty. Yeah, hey, babe. What's our guesstimations on distance? You reckon? Who was? Who was? What a place to propose. Oh, <laughs> so romantic. So romantic. Friends around. Everyone is engaged. But Shanae. <laughs> yeah, Ripper. Big head. Mm. That's where we're at. What do you reckon, Shanae? You mining today? <laughs> This is not built for my head height. Yeah, let me give, give yeah, me this. Right. Give me this. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a big head boy. I have these pictures of the doorway. So. <laughs> yep, dirt will have you back already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate, mine's a hard gig, you know? You get, if you want to find the good opals, you got to get in deep. <laughs> yeah, you do. Tim O'Neill told me that. <laughs> First mined in 1916. $50,000 worth of opal was found. That would have been worth a bit. Nowadays. I'm <laughs> How Shanae got the gig of reading out what's going on, no one knows. Number six. Level of the dirt that was removed in 1987. This is just information about old Georgie boy. It's called the ballroom. It's quite confusing. There's a, is there a way to show us which way to go or not yeah, really? Yeah, you go Follow the way. numbers. Oh, I love it, loving the sport guys. Sorry about him, guys. 
If you're working in close quarters, you really got to be friends with everyone you're down here with. <laughs> Sorry. No seams of colours no. coming in. This is strong indication at the pocket of opal could be coming in. Never torch. Notice seams of potch and colour coming in. And what's potch, Scott? We know this. Uh, colourless, worthless shit. Just wrong. Sinead's new nickname, Potch. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean! You an asshole! Sure thing, Potch. His hand dug shaft is smaller as it was dug by a smaller man in Carl Lewis. Drilling, drilling shaft holes. He used to get lonely down here. Sometimes you need a shaft hole. <laughs> Didn't think about that one before you started talking, no. did you? He's just always trying to be... So we're at Connor's Well rest area. It's um, about 70k north of Alice Springs. Yeah, the plan was to go to Uluru, but we changed our mind. With the dog, it was just going to be too hard and we weren't going to be able to enjoy it the way we'd, we really would have wanted to. So we'll, um, we might fly back separately once we're back home and do it as its own separate little trip. Um, so for now, we're just continuing our, continuing our way north. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's still a long way. I still think we're like 1,400 kilometres south of Darwin still. So we'll split that up over a few days because that's a gross amount of kilometres to drive. Um, and see what we can explore and find on the way way across there. So Happy. 